Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith, Chief Builder and Owner at Smith House Company, and I'm here with my buddy Kyle Stumpenhorst with RR Buildings, and we are going to show you the correct way of installing LP WeatherLogic Air and Water Barrier. In addition to this video, make sure that you go to lpcorp.com for the latest installation instructions. It's your line of defense against air and water intrusion, and it could potentially save you both time and money. Now to install the panels, they install just like regular OSB. Remember, the barrier must be facing outward. We require the following protocols for typical residential wall sheathing nailing. Space all panel edges 1 8 of an inch. Use minimum 6D common nails. Space nails 6 inches on center along panel edges and 12 inches on center in the field of the panel. Place nails 3 8 of an inch from all panel edges. If a nail is overdriven, cover it with a 4 inch length of tape centered over the hole. Now let's talk tape. LP WeatherLogic seam and flashing tape isn't your average adhesive. It's an AAMA 711-13 approved acrylic tape, specially formulated with one of the industry's most advanced adhesives. For it to work, outside temps need to be higher than 14 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 10 degrees Celsius. LP WeatherLogic tape rolls are available in 3 and 3 quarter and 6 inch widths. The 6 inch width is recommended for window flashing, especially when wider trim products are used. The 6 inch width is also preferred for inside and outside corners. Install the tape from bottom to top, overlapping from above to create a shingle effect. Use one continuous piece of tape to cover seams where possible. If needed to complete a straight run, overlap ends of the tape at least 2 inches. When the horizontal and vertical seams intersect, make sure the vertical seam crosses the horizontal seam. Vertical tape overlaps horizontal tape, or shingle tape, like it is here. There are a few ways to do it. Vertical seam terminates at the horizontal seam. Vertical tape overlaps horizontal tape. The vertical tape should extend at least halfway over the horizontal tape and can extend beyond. Horizontal tape overlaps vertical tape. The vertical tape should extend approximately halfway under the horizontal tape. The horizontal seam terminates at the vertical seam. Vertical tape overlaps horizontal tape. The horizontal tape should extend approximately halfway under the vertical tape. For the outside corners, adhere half of the tape width to one side, then tightly wrap the corner to adhere it to the adjacent side. Use the squeegee to tightly push and crease the center of the tape fully into the corners. For windows with nailing flanges, you want to keep these things in mind. Cut tape at least 12 inches longer than length of seal to wrap a minimum of 6 inches up jams. Center length of tape on seal and align so approximately 2 inches of tape can be folded onto panel's face. Fit the tape tightly into the corners using the squeegee. At corners of seal and jams, cut overhanging tape up to the framing. Do not overcut. Fold the overhanging tape onto the faces of the LP WeatherLogic panel. Tape jam flanges of the window. Apply tape to extend approximately 1 inch past the head and sill flanges. Do not extend the tape more than 1 inch above the head flange. The tape can extend more than 1 inch below the sill flange. Tape the head flange of the window. Apply tape to overlap by at least 2 inches at the top ends of the jam flange. If a drip edge is installed at the head of the window, apply a piece of tape to extend 2 inches past each end of the drip edge. The tape should extend at least 2 inches above the drip edge onto the panel face. For door installation, apply the tape to the jams. Cut the tape to fit the vertical length of the jam and align it so that approximately 2 inches of the tape can be folded onto the face of the panel. If molding is installed, seal molding to the face of the panel with an approved sealant. And that's it. That is how you install LP WeatherLogic. Big thanks to Cal for coming out here. Go follow him at RR Builds. And give Jordan a follow at Jordan Smith Builds. Thanks a lot, everyone.